Hi everyone. This first video was for moms, dads, partners who find themselves pregnant or expecting a newborn during this COVID lockdown time. I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to speak to Dr. Shenny Moodley, who's a gynecologist and obstetrician, and Dr. Kim Barnard, who's a pediatrician, to ask them some of those very real questions. And I'm really hoping that this will be a way to provide some support and information to moms and parents and partners who are feeling a bit uncertain right now. We have loaded the full interview on our Facebook and our YouTube page. You'll see in the full interview we go into detail around who can be in the birthing space with mom, what about your doctor's visits, what happens if baby needs to go to NICU, what happens with vaccinations and clinic visits, but for now here's a brief look into some of the topics we discussed. Deliveries, according to the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, have to pretty much be planned now. So the Royal College is suggesting that even for patients who want natural deliveries, that we actually plan an induction at 38 weeks so that the parents can be tested appropriately and so that we don't have unplanned emergency deliveries where we are not catering for testing. So the Regulations differ in different hospitals. So in state hospitals at the moment, the dads are not allowed to go in. So there is no support person who is allowed in. In most private hospitals, the dad is allowed to go in if the dad has been tested. If the dad and the mom have come in in an emergency and are not tested, then they are admitted to a different part of the hospital and a different ward, and they are treated as positive until such time that their tests come back. It's also been quite a challenge for the pediatricians in terms of, you know, we, we're quite involved in the Caesar in terms of being a presence for the parents, taking the photos, you know, giving baby over to dad, letting him have his first cuddle, mom. Um, you know, if the situation arises where we're having to treat parents as, you know, potential positive patients, it means a whole lot of extensive gear on us, faces covered, dad, mom, everyone, that sort of thing. So already the stress level is, is quite high and it's not as, um, it's not as, you know, as, as warm as we, as, you know, peds would like it to be for the birth of your baby, which obviously then sets that up. And then being separated from your baby is already quite a stressful thing if your baby has to go to the NICU. So we are reducing visits, but remember, pregnancy is a high-risk condition. And if vital areas are missed in your visits, because you cannot do urine checks at home, for example, to check if there's protein in the urine. You cannot check whether this baby is growing at home, whether the placenta is failing, etc. So the, there are visits that are absolutely vital that cannot be avoided. Vaccines are extremely important and worldwide, the World Health Organization is advocating to continue with the vaccines because, you know, coronavirus is not the only disease going around. And I mean, right now we have we're coming, we're in RSV season, which is a, a difficult respiratory virus and cause, you know, very severe disease in a newborn. We we don't want to fall behind on our pneumococcal vaccinations, as Shani said, because, you know, um, it's a very big cause of, of pneumonia in small children. So vaccines are so important for our parents to continue getting them. I think the vital point is not to miss your visits. And then one of the things we worry about is mums being affected by the isolation and actually your visit to your caregiver because you've got this bond with your caregiver as well reduces that isolation because it's a lot of advice that you get at that visit. So we have to realize that our parents are taking an immense amount of strain and this isn't a normal situation and I think that's what's got to be emphasized is that you are trying to parent and you're trying to be the best mom that you can be which we all try and be in a very abnormal situation and it's okay to feel overwhelmed and it's okay to feel I don't know how I'm going to do this and it's okay to feel like well, who can I turn to it's it's a tough it's a tough situation and I don't think there's a perfect answer for everything I think the answer is you need to make it work within your situation and use the avenues that everyone has provided baby massage classes online your pediatrician your obstetrician you know um make use of those resources. It doesn't make you a weak person, it makes you human. I just want to really thank again Dr. Barnard and Dr. Moodley for their time and their insights and uh, we really hope that you found it as valuable as we found it. In our next video we'll be interviewing a social worker who has extensive experience around pregnancy and birth and her take on mental health for moms, dads, partners 
at this difficult time. Until then, stay safe and remember it's okay to not be feeling okay with everything that's going on and don't be afraid to reach out and get the help that you need. Thanks so much. Bye.